And this exhibition creates journeys through both time and place, from ancient ruins to medieval abbeys, from the rise of the modern metropolis out into the rural countrysides of America. Architectural photography from the collection, 1850 to 2000, encourages viewers to consider the relationship between physical buildings and their corresponding appearance in photographs. It traces the history of architectural photography through European and American photographers. Photography was invented in 1839, and by the time that we get to the early 1850s, photographers have really overcome a lot of the early limitations and began to really explore creatively what the camera could do. It's remarkable how quickly photography developed, specifically in relationship to tourist trade early on so that people could take images home with them and sort of look at them at their convenience. One of the earliest images taken by American photographers in Egypt, taken in 1851, really represents you know, several months of effort to travel down the Nile to get to the Isle of Philae in the southern part of the Nile to work in these very unforgiving desert conditions. And we have one of the great examples that they took in perfect condition we have ruins of ancient architecture moving to the remains of Roman antiquity, to medieval buildings in Europe. And then we get into the rise of the modern city in the 19th century, both looking at what was being built, but also what was being torn down to create something new. And then we move into New York City, which is the quintessential modern metropolis in the early part of the 20th century. But equally important in the 20th century, particularly in America, photographers going out into rural areas, into the countryside, looking at buildings where we don't necessarily know who the architect was, using the automobile as a way to explore and discover what's on a side road, looking at roadside churches or the remains of 19th century storefronts and how those buildings still kind of resonate and speak to us. One of the more recent developments, particularly in America, focused on the phenomena of suburban sprawl, looking at how we occupy the land and, in many cases, sort of erase the natural environment in order to put up these new built environments, often through commercial interests rather than anything else. A lot of photographers were grappling with this phenomenon, this rapid reworking of the landscape and generating images that are both troubling in some ways for their environmental implications, but also amazingly kind of beautiful and captivating in their composition, their qualities of light. Uh, the exhibition shows how images started to circulate in early publications, early books and journals, and shows how technologies evolve up through color practices. In the earliest examples of the integration of a photographic image, and text on the single page. The photographs had to be sort of hand tipped into each book, so it was a very labor intensive process. Just a couple decades later, we have things like stereographic cards that reproduce the three dimensional qualities of buildings. There are two images side by side that are photographed in separation to equate the distance between the human eyes. Even though these early photographic images were quite sort of fragile, many of these images you know, on paper have actually outlived the buildings themselves. Many of the buildings were destroyed for different reasons, whether it was a fire or an earthquake or war. Through it all, the photographers really have to have this sensitivity to structure, to qualities of light and atmosphere, and strive to find very specific perspectives.